Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you an excerpt which is most of a video from my Patreon group where there's an exclusive video once a week uploaded and if you do want to join that there's a link in the description to do that, I'd love to see you there. Anyway, in this video I gave vent to my feelings about the slight decline in fragrance reviewing and the quality I think of, of the overall videos that we get on YouTube about fragrances. I, I, I've told you my honest feelings about it. So let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. Now, luckily, there are still some of us who try and uphold the dignity, the integrity of fragrance reviewing. I, you know, and I, I hope that I'm one of those. Thank God there is at least one other great reviewer who we can always count on to give a serious, in-depth, insightful fragrance content online. Okay, today then, the subject I want to address is the, the YouTube FragCom stuff, where it's at and how I think really it, it's got to be time for a shake-up and it's, it's really stale to me at the moment. Now, maybe this is shaped by me being a YouTube fragrance person who makes videos. Inevitably, when you have been doing that for five years, you're going to be more cynical than the average person. You've seen it all before. You, 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 know, you don't need a top 10 most complimented list. So when I'm watching, well, when I'm looking at YouTube, I'm skipping most other YouTubers' fragrance videos. I'm, I'm not interested because, of course, I don't, you know, all due respect to the other YouTubers, Ashton from Gentsense or, you know, even Max Forty or Stephen from Red Adolescence. I don't need to watch their top 10 this or their top 10 that because, you know, it's probably not news to me for the most part, you know. Uh, and of course, I've just, you know, there's so much fragrance stuff going on in my life that sometimes for my own entertainment, I want to watch something different in a different genre on YouTube. So it's inevitable that I'm going to be cynical. And uh, But am I right? You guys, you, most of you watching, don't have your own YouTube channel. Is it the case that I think you know, there's so many YouTube channels now, so many new fragrance channels springing up, and so many long-established ones that are getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and they're getting very samey the kind of videos I'm really you know I just I see my feed on my YouTube screen and you know the number of other YouTubers going like this and there's six bottles and it's you know get compliments versatile fragrances and you just yawn 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 but maybe I'm wrong maybe a lot of other people out there are still finding this stuff really entertaining but it's, it's really time we had a shake up because I watch a lot of stuff on YouTube but mostly now not fragrant stuff because you know, it's not healthy to just watch what you do all the time because you get you need to be not insular like that. So I get a lot of inspiration from other genres of videos. As you know, I'm into the watches now. Watch videos on YouTube. I'm sure many people in the watch community are cynical about that thing, but they're kind of interesting. And some of the other stuff out there too reminds me that a lot of other fields on YouTube, I feel like they're way ahead of us in the creativity and the diversity of the different kinds of channels that, that you can see there and the things that they do in the videos. So like the watch channels, for instance, there's a guy called the, um, the Timeless Watch Channel, I think. I think it's the Timeless Watch Channel, or, yeah. And he walks around Venice. Now, we can't all do that, but he's lucky enough to live there. He's an Irish guy and he does you know, his fantastic classical music. He gives you this cultural background to the watches. Great, great shots of the watches. A fantastic editing. I don't think there's anyone really on that kind of level within the, the fragrance world doing anything quite that clever or that, that good. There are some people who do a lot of editing and stuff. 
Uh, but it's really, really getting tiresome that, that we, I think we need to shake it up. I think a lot of other YouTubers who do fragrance videos, and you know, I criticize myself too, because I'm not exactly smashing it out of the park or breaking new ground with every video, far from it. You know, sometimes I am just going, I hope I'm not going through the motions, but you know, I'm, I, I could be more creative and put more effort into the videos and do something more and more new. But a lot of YouTubers, I think, look at other channels and say, well, this is what works. This is what gets views. He's got the top 10 on this. Do this, do that. This is what's worked for me, so I'm going to keep doing it. But it makes things very, very samey, and everyone just copies everyone else, and it gets very boring. And we need someone to come along, or some several people, and break out of that and give us something new, a new way of talking about fragrances, a new format. Think of the people who've been the best over the years. Katie Puckrick was really good, just because she described the fragrances in a non-generic way. A lot of people break down the notes and the performance, and it's quite boring. She's told a story about each fragrance, and that was really, really good. And it was very simple, very unedited, very short videos. That was really good. Uh, but maybe now we need something a bit new, something clever. Or, and I hope it's going to happen, because really at the moment, I think the thing is just, it, it, will the bubble burst of these channels growing and growing and growing? I feel like other genres are more creative, but it's easier for some other kinds of video, because, okay, let's say you're doing a product review, which are essentially fragrance reviews, or fragrance videos kind of are, most other products, you can show them and it's more interesting. A fragrance, the essence of what we describe is the one sense, the one thing that we can't share on a video. You know, we can share a sound. If you're doing music, you can play music and people can hear you and see you too, it's great. Uh, if you're sharing a product review, so if it's a computer or a laptop, you can show the laptop and how it looks and the keys, and you, you have to describe the functionality, but you can sh show screenshots. If you're doing a gaming channel, video games, of course you can show the gameplay and the sounds, and maybe the interaction of the people doing it. No wonder it's popular, you've got all those dimensions that you can put on the screen. If you're talking about football, you probably can't actually show the football match because it's copyrighted, but you can have a debate, a lively debate and two people and interaction and discuss all the different things that happened in the game, of which there were many, and different opinions of who should have played, whose fault was it that your team lost or why did you win, all that stuff. But with a fragrance, you can show the bottle and then you just have to kind of talk and describe it. I mean, you can show some different angles and switch the shots a bit, but it's not, for example, with a watch, it's very visual. Yes, it's nice to hold it and feel how the, the, the winding motion feels, but to a large extent, you just can, you can show it from different angles. You can show the face, you can go, or you can show it on your wrist, you can go from different angles, put it in a nice background, uh, go close up on the details of the clasp, and, and then you can describe all these different things about it too. The beats per minute, the functions that it has, does it have a date, does it have a day, is it a chronograph, is it a diver's watch, how many meters can you go to? All that stuff you can describe, uh, and it's kind of, you know, there's loads of dimensions to them, but fragrances, of course, you can talk about the notes, but you're describing something that the other people really can only imagine. And that makes it really quite a difficult genre to make interesting. So that's why, you know, I try to do some different things. That's why I'm doing the, the interviews where I do the most cherished fragrances. I like to do an interview, like a podcast format, but you can see us too. I'm doing, as with my most recent video that I uploaded today, Ralph Lauren Safari. Uh, it's just a POV, to use a, a term that can have other connotations, a kind of point of view video. So we just, we put the bottle on there and I try and put some fun stuff in the background, like so, you know, there's a champagne bottle, an old camera and a watch in there and try and do different dimensions. I'm trying to do something a little bit different, but I'm, you know, no way near stumbling on the magic formula to, to herald a new dawn of fragrance videos. But I've got to say, the way they are, the most successful ones are looking at the moment, and no disrespect to any of those people, it, it's quite frightfully boring to me to, to watch most of the, the mainstream channels. But perhaps that's inevitable because I'm another fellow YouTuber. Those channels are aimed at maybe younger people than me people newer at the hobby, people to whom it is news to say what's the best 10 fragrances for summer. You know, that, I get that. Uh, but yeah, let's see what happens. What do you think about that down in the comments? Are you still just as enthusiastic to, dis to consume many other channels? Which ones do you like? Which ones do you dislike? For the record, there are some that I still watch. Chris from Scentland, still excellent. I'll still tune into him because the way he talks about fragrances is really good and I I'll learn something. I guess we watch YouTube either to be educated or entertained. And he, I feel he will educate me, and he'll, he's, the way he talks, he's not doing any bells and whistles or jokes, 
but it's entertaining enough because I just find I, I like listening to him. So there's a bit of entertainment and a lot of education and a likeable guy. So that works for me. But he's not exactly a huge channel because he's not really playing the game massively. So, you know, he doesn't do tons of editing. He doesn't do any, he, he's not desperately doing top tens all the time. So he's probably not going to ever get massive. But that's the kind of stuff I like to watch. Greggy Boy 76 similar kind of thing. Great knowledge, I'll learn something. I enjoy the way he talks, but there's no bells and whistles. So that's, that's the kind of stuff I like to watch on YouTube, but of course I'm me and I'm quirky in my own way. So guys, let me know what you think about that. What other kinds of stuff do you watch on YouTube? I find it healthy for me. I think my channel will get better if I do, if I'm influenced by watching a watch video or watching, I watch MM, is he MME military rations guy where he unopen, he, he opens military rations from the 70s and eats half of them, frightening. Even from the Second World War era, he's eaten chocolate, insanity. Uh, so that stuff's really fun to me and I think it can, you know, can help me to do something more fun than if I just sit there copying the lowest common denominator and then the denominator of other YouTube videos. Bon Viveur is coming really soon, but I don't want to keep teasing until I, I'm waiting to find out exactly when the darn thing will be made and shipped. And I don't want to keep talking about it. I will reveal the, the full note listing on normal YouTube soon. I've told you guys, uh, but you know, it's, it's kind of boring to give updates on no news, by the way, this week, but it should be out this spring. I was hoping April, but it might be more like May, but it, it, as soon as I know anything, I'm going to let you guys know. Comment down below, guys, what you thought about today's video. I suppose a little bit of a mini rant. Uh, no, no shade thrown on any fellow reviewers, really. And I, I throw some on myself because I, I need to pull up my game and make it more unique and different what I do on YouTube. Oh, reaction videos. Yeah, they're fun. I've been doing those occasionally on Jeremy. I like those. It doesn't really... It's a bit of a... What does this have to do with talking about fragrances when you react to another reviewer? Usually Jeremy fragrance, but they are fun to do and people quite like watching them. So I might do some more of those. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below. Thanks ever so much, guys. Remember, whatever you're doing in life, let's project. Bye-bye.